Alright, so this video could be all over the place. I have four anyway, packages I got to take from the post office. Three from last night. One from right before I woke up this morning. And then I gotta stay out for a little bit. So I might do it in a couple segments. Have it going for a couple minutes. Have the camera going for a couple minutes. And turn it off. So on and so forth. <laughs> that stay out for like two hours. Something like that. Since it's Saturday. And our mom has church via Zoom. So we'll see. Knowing me, I'll probably just forget and just have it going. For the first portion of my ride. I think I should have a little bit more coffee. But. One of the packages I put together was a bundle of six items. I just ate, had some coffee, then took a little break for like five to ten minutes, and then started looking for it. Well, I, I lucked out because I did the items. I knew where they were. I knew where two orders were because I happened to not put away one item, which is a pair of shoes for one. And then I saw the pair of pants after she made the order. So I hung them up in my closet for easy finding. Then the <coughs> movie, it was where I thought it would be. I just wasn't sure. And then the flag was where I thought it was and I lucked out because I didn't put all my clothes all my inventory back last night I just kind of left it in a pile and basically I found everything pretty quick <sighs> found three or four of the items because how I flipped the stuff it was all on top one item was hanging from on my wall on a hanger because I had four new pictures and another two <coughs> I found with relative ease because they both had easy patterns to locate versus being solid. So that was nice. I purposely left the bigger order as the last one because the other three orders were already ready. So So I figured, no matter how long it took, once it was ready and packaged, all I had to do was put the packaging tape and label on, and I could go. And that's what I did once I was ready. But trying to stop, I want to go to the post office or the shipping store. They're both this way. <laughs> yes, I'll show the post office because it's a little further. And if I went to the shipping store, it's not that 
as far. It's only at like a mile, mile and a half from my house. It's by bike. The other one is like three miles, I think. Somewhere there. Two or three miles. Two to four miles. Two to four miles. Might be right under three. Or right at three. Because a store that's right after this first store I go to a lot is three miles each way from my house. And the off ramp to get there on the freeway is right after this post office. I took my bell out yesterday out of the drawer on my veggie table and totally forgot to put on my handlebars or at least put in my backpack. It's how life me. Alright, I'm missing the camera off. Be back in a few minutes. Toodaloo. I'm back. Same ride. On the other side of town. A couple blocks from the a few blocks from the coast office. I think I should add some more coffee. I'm taking a boom boom. Didn't think I would need to. But coffee and peanut butter I had. I should have assumed. Should have made me feel regular. Only bad part about me having coffee in the morning. Or peanut butter. Or oatmeal. Or oatmeal that has peanut butter. Never a good thing. But it's the full I leave. And I don't come back. Sorry from that home for obvious reasons. Alright. Uh, Wish I would have sped up. But I'll live. Well one of those streets where there was anyone on either side. I hate going across that street on certain parts of it because it's quite a busy street. And no one wants to give me the right of way. Even if I have the right of way, it doesn't even matter. Now, I have to find something to do for like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on what time it is. I might be getting a free bike today, I'm not sure. Kind of bummed. I slept in, <coughs> kept waking up, kept falling asleep. Kept waking up, so I was kind of half half awake, but I was feeling good, no aches or pains, and I didn't have to go anywhere until dropping off these packages. So I just laid in bed till like 7:30, I think, 7:15. So, but well, I'm bummed because last night. Around like 10 or 11, someone in Berkeley made a post on Facebook Marketplace for three free bikes, one BMX. I couldn't tell the brand because I only had one picture and it wasn't the best. But then two specialized, I think they were both hard rocks. Couldn't tell exactly. On, on one I could, I could make it all out, but on the other one I couldn't because whoever lived at the house or whatever property that this person inherited or bought, they ended up inheriting the bikes, and the bikes were locked to a fence, so there was a little bit of a sh obstruction because one of the 
the harder to tell specialize has the fins, the lock, and most of the BMX obstructing it. But that would have been cool if I would have got, been able to get all three. Well, when I woke up this morning, I should have just messed them last night. So that's all right when it went up, but I was debating because my back wheel, it was put on pending. Would have been cool though. Might have kept the one and then sold the other two. Well, definitely was sold. Because I do have another specialized hard rock that I just don't like the color. And these were like purple or blue. Couldn't tell. My uh, eyes aren't the best between purple and blue. I'm not colorblind, but it's a. Uh, close they're like kind of blue and purple that are closer together they play checks on me if I get nervous otherwise I'm good so that was a bummer but since I'm waiting to see if that lady is going to bring that bike I guess it's alright because it would take me a while to get there and back if I would have been able to depending on whenever they would have had me come over especially because there's a south there's south Berkeley so I guess it's alright because south Berkeley is close to the Oakland which is fine but further away for someone like me that doesn't currently have a vehicle I'll be back in a couple minutes Toodaloo. a real square lead hopping onto the sidewalk it wasn't one of those normal sidewalk openings <coughs> like this one it wasn't all big it was one of those ones that's closer to this corner like closer to this side so and I wasn't paying attention I was checking to see it's a lady in the car that was in the parking lot right next to it if she was in the driver's seat or not so I had to do some fancy maneuvering because there was a car if there wouldn't have been a car it wouldn't have mattered but I had to like slightly <laughs> I slightly tapped the pedal crank backwards and it didn't make it, anything come loose so far. It wasn't there. It, it was more so a correction. Like I slightly went back pedal then went forward. So that was nice. I was more concerned about the car than anything else, obviously. of the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, 
playing tones. Unless he was playing a game. Yeah. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, I don't have enough speed. You guys want to go downtown. Well, I'm downtown, but downtown near the waterfront. If you ever want to go get some good Salvadorian food, when I get across the street, I'll flash you this good restaurant. <coughs> this will I feel like he's out of self -sign. This fool was an idiot. Guess that they don't have a camera out that way. <laughs> I got him on camera. Well, alright. So this spot right here. Taqueria Mercy. The Papusaria. Delicious. If you haven't been in Vallejo, California, it's all Salvadorian. But there's another place down here to go right, right next to Eco Thrift. The yeah, first I go to, unless it closed, it might have closed because I heard a few weeks ago the sushi place next door that closed. But there's a Salvadorian Mexican spot. Salvadorian restaurant, but they have so, some Mexican food. So, it's down here, turn right on to uh, Redwood, and it's on the left. I think it's Del Sol, I could be wrong. Or it might just be something Sol, Taqueria Sol, Taqueria Del Sol, I forget. I haven't gone in a few years. Both are super good. Best spots I know of in town, but I think they're the only place I've gone. To be fair, I've had yuca fritas at the place I just passed. They're good, of course. All I've had at the spot down the, a few blocks away on Redwood is papusas and maybe some Salvadorian uh, horchata, maybe not though. I got it somewhere. I want to say it's there, but maybe not. I eat a lot of Salvadorian food when I have money. Well, usually just papusas, sometimes vegetarian. Easy thing to get, and they're not that expensive. They're usually they could be different now, but when I buy them, they usually be like one to two dollars each. Maybe three. Shoot. My favorite is La Roca. But I usually just get beans and cheese or bean. Since I'm never sure. If there's lard, I usually don't get beans and cheese unless I can ask the person. But I have to order in Spanish. The last time I tried to ask someone in Spanish if their beans had lard in them, neither of the people could tell. So they couldn't understand what I meant. Because I only know, I know two different ways to say it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know enough. I don't know how to have actual conversations in Spanish. I just know a lot of words. I understand more. I just make a lot of weird stuff and hope the person understands me. It doesn't always make sense, I'm sure. Most people uh, compliment me and thank me for putting the effort instead of being dismissive of you. I ironically one day when uh, we needed some help with groceries we'd go to the food pantry uh, sometimes we'd go Tuesday and Friday my dad and I or sometimes we'd just go 
for one day or the other but usually we go to both because it was helpful and it's only like depending on traffic and the how long it takes to hit the stoplights and the one uh stop or stop signs and then the one stoplight getting there it's like five maybe ten minutes not inconvenient when it comes to driving and you there's no limit on how big you're like if you come in a big group as long as everyone gets their own box it doesn't matter so we take advantage of that but this lady ironically was there and it's ironic because i recognized her i worked in berkeley and berkeley is 20 miles from here so i assumed that she'd sometimes i'm pretty sure she would walked she might have drove but she'd always pick up so i was assumed she lived <coughs> somewhere in the neighborhood of the pizza spot a lot of people would walk if they didn't care about their pizza getting cold so I, at some point she started coming in how how often however often whatever it was and I ended up translating for her because this dude wouldn't <laughs> leave her alone and she didn't know I think she knows a little English but she was acting like she didn't or she was shy because I'm pretty sure whenever she'd order I took her orders I could be wrong but, or maybe she knew enough just to piece together a pizza order or someone else that spoke Spanish better than me may have taken her order in Spanish but anyways after the guy was done with all his questions she complimented me and was a little surprised even though I wasn't the best she said I did a very good job even though I was kind of shy and nervous about it but she was kind of awkward not knowing how to react to him so that's why I stepped in uh, she wasn't trying to be rude but she didn't really know what to do the conversation only lasted like five minutes or less <laughs> I just found it funny when I recognized I was like wait a second I know you kind of I know you, your name, your pizza order. That's about it. Well, all right, what time is it? Uh, so like another hour and a half. Yay, yay, yay. Don't know where to go. Just made a loop across town, pretty much. Going the way I went. To the post office and then calling back the opposite way. I told the lady that may or may not give me a bike that I had a Zoom call until 12, which is a lie and a half truth. I don't have a Zoom call, but my mom does. So I just kept it at that since it was less explaining and less the type and so I was free anytime after 12 p.m. and it's now 10 10 I never know when she'll be done so I'll just text her from my bedroom or if I'm out like now, sometime around 11.15 to 11.30, cause usually they're done 
or sometimes at 11.15, sometimes 12.30. Don't always know. That's quite the gap. And when they might finish. It wouldn't matter if we, if the dog wasn't so loud, but since she's so in this, uh, it's so hard to know how she'll re react. I don't ever want to bombard my mom. Usually toward the end, her microphone is off, but you never know. Especially since the church service, you might want to interject. Or someone might say her name. But closer to the beginning and the middle, she has some announcements and stuff like that. So that's why I was trying to leave beforehand. Either before or after she's done talking. Because usually there's a gap. If I don't get out early, like I did today, there's usually a good enough gap. If I do it right when she stops talking, I can slink out. But if we didn't have a dog, or we had a dog that didn't bark every time I moved before I left my room, sneezed, coughed, dropped something, moved my keys, the wind was too much of a gust anything really the show isn't so moody I wouldn't put the emphasis but since she's so unpredictable but predictable at the same time I just play it safe Ugh, I don't want to go up any hills I don't really have a choice now. I'm going to turn my camera off for a few minutes since I've been going for 15 Bye. Oh, it looks like, it looks like I'm going to make the last clip at the end of the video. Since it was 15 minutes and the other two were five and a half and six and a half. I just think I have enough. But I wanted to do an outro. So, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. You'll see me in the next one. I won't see you. All right. Have a good day. Don't know what day this is going up, but it's Saturday, 29th. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. All depends on my computer and my laziness scale. But I might go pick up that bike today or tomorrow. So that might be cool. The lady got back to me from walking. There's a free rock, well, I don't know if it's free, but it's past a uh, specialized rock hopper that has suspension ports, maybe rear suspension, couldn't tell, and then a BMX, I couldn't tell if they were free or not. There was, one was partially inside this uh, storage unit, there was like a, the houses were along an alley, and it was like behind the house. And the other one was on the outside. Didn't say free or anything, so I couldn't tell if maybe there's a homeless person or two living in one of the storage units. The one I could see into that had the BMX in it was kind of dirty, so I wasn't sure. Dirty in the sense of there was a lot of concrete strewn about, so I don't know what was all of that. So yeah, I was gonna grab it, but wasn't sure since I wasn't assigned. I even looked to see if anyone posted it as I walked up the alley. Wasn't it cool? Might have got uh, some monies for it or might have kept it, who knows. All right, I'm gonna the outro. Toodaloo, camera's gonna die soon. Hold on one bar, bye. I still have an hour and a half. One hour and ten minutes, I should say, give or take, until I can go home. And I was just over here. All right, bye.